this week on Fox Pro Fur Takers. It's time. The apple's ripe. Let's pick it. Big Al chases a fur taker record on the prairie of southern Alberta. This country is loaded. Fall conditions are prime. So are the coyotes. Every predator hunter can do something like this at least once in their life. How many does it take to break a record? Stick around to find out. can't see the beauty we're here. We've already seen a couple coyotes this morning driving in. We're in Alberta, southern Alberta, Canada. I got my good buddy John Bear. I got Josh Many Chief of the Kainai Indian Reserve. Got a couple things to brag about. We got the new Ruger American. John's got the Ruger Varmint, 220 Swift. I'm in 22 250. We're in southern Alberta, fur takers here. Don't miss. Let's get her done. Brother. Let's get her done. I don't know many places that have any more coyotes in North America than where we are right now in Southern Alberta. We're in the first week of October. They've had a, they've already had snow on the ground and it really puts these coyotes into hyperdrive to get ready for winter. First morning, first stand, Josh drops us off. We pop over this knob. We start calling. I did some male house, some female yodel. <laughs> We heard two different groups. We heard a group to the right and a group to the left. I hit pup distress three. And two of them pop out. Two coyotes come right around the hill. Next thing I hear is to the right. Way to the right. That was awesome. The Swift is on the board, baby. Dude, that was awesome. That's a beautiful dog. We had him just, oh, they were coming, and then he was gonna, and he, ding, ding, ding. We got a winner right there. Fur takers in Alberta on the board first stand. This could be epic. You guys want to buckle up, put the seat belts on, keep your arms and legs in the vehicle at all times, because this could get crazy. It was just a great way to start the trip. Of course, Al's excited, and everybody knows a happy Al is a good Al. Oh, he is a tank. Oh, goodness, John Bear. Already furred up. Couldn't be any better. Look at the head on this. For any predator hunter, I mean, it, a place like this is what dreams are made of. Coyotes everywhere. I mean, I've never been in a place just so thick with coyotes. Yeah, we're going to do this again. Fur takers happening right here in Alberta. Buckle up. Why do I get the impression this is gonna be hanging in a house in Utah? You make a perfect stand. You call in four, five, six coyotes. I don't know how many we called in on that stand. And then the W word, the wind happened. This wind is really about 30. And when the wind blows out here, it blows. Welcome to the winds of Alberta. This is the part of fur takers you don't see. The windmills are turning great. I don't fly kites. There's nothing fun about the wind. The wind sucks. We ground all day hard and nothing. I lost my hat. My hat's gone. Alberta Prairie somewhere is a Fox Pro hat. First stand ever we kill. Next 12, zip, zero, zilch. You pull up your big boy pants and you know tomorrow's a new day. Sunrise. So yesterday sucked. I just think today's the day. Conditions are perfect. You know, Al fires up the, the male lone howl and the female yodel. 
but on both sides of us, we got coyotes talking. The big man gets a little frustrated when we got coyotes howling. Can't get anything to come in, but we're gonna uh, regroup here and try to move a little closer, see what we can come up with. It's a good morning. Coyotes are talking. It's gonna be a good day. I think we were sandwiched there, John, between two two groups. We had that group howling and this group howling, and sometimes this is a boundary. If we just poke a little closer that way or a little closer that way, maybe we'll be on them. Josh pulls up, and I said, Josh, we got coyotes over here. He goes, I know right where I want you. Started calling, hair lights up. I see John going, go to pup three, brother. All right here, Cap, right here, coming in. Got him, John Bear. That was a dance where we didn't double. <laughs> Good shoot, man. Nice job. Good shoot. We almost doubled. They knew there was something going on in their area, their spot. They couldn't take it. We're on the Blood Indian Reserve in southern Alberta, Canada. It's the most coyote-rich area I've ever been in. Second stand, coyote number two on video. We're rocking and rolling. Here we go, boys. There's one, two, there's a double. There's three, there's four. It's coming on, baby. Did you just see that? Triple. Triple in Alberta. Yeah. Damn, John yeah. Bear. Yeah. We just shot a triple. <laughs> John Bear. Triples don't happen very much in life, ever. <laughs> Bam. Good thing it doesn't happen all the time. I'm a terrible dancer. The dance of love. This is how it goes. <laughs> right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those are the kind of stands you dream about. First Takers Alberta just hit another level. I'm gonna break this stand right down for you, down to the nuts and bolts. We got inserted in there. Josh drops us off. You get positioned to the right, to the left. Caller was about 30 yards out to my left, but I went through a series of calls. Male coyote howl, female yodel. Broadcast out there, let them know there's a coyote in the area. After about a minute or two, I went right to platinum gray fox pup distress. And I added a magpie fight. A lot of magpies up here. But I went to coyote pup distress three. And I'm here to tell you, if anybody ever leaves a stand without playing pup distress three, they're crazy. Because that is coyote cocaine. They heard a commotion. They couldn't take it. They're going to come defend their territory or check it out. And that's the breakdown on that stand. They had to come check it out. Let's go get the truck. Let's do it again, Let's guys. When you empty your gun, you reach in the truck and grab you some more super form. It's loaded up, baby. <laughs> My clip runneth dry. And I said, Josh, is there any way, what's over here where these other coyotes were sounding off? He goes, another coolie, man. He drops us off on the buttes, and it is just a giant chasm. I mean, it is a butte. It's, we're on top, and then it's cliffs, and then it's bottom. Josh said, it's beautiful, but it's got coyotes, too. We turn on the call, and there's two coyotes right there on a ridge. I 
I'm dialing through my sounds. I get to coyote pup screams. This big male couldn't take it. Oh, here she comes. Got her. We just shot a coyote at 321 yards. Boo wah! I got a hand it to my buddy Al. That was quite a shot. You know, that was quite a shot. The old Hornady was up for it. Uh oh, somebody needs more bullets. <laughs> See this middle ridge? She came right on it and she's in this brush pile. I'm like, Josh, what's the best way to go get this coyote? And he goes, we'll Go down the cliff, man. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Could get ugly. We got it. Yeah, but I'm old and fat, John Bear. Oh, I'm old and fat too. She ran off the ridge into this. But where's the blood? Me and John make a pass through. We ain't got it. I mean, when it comes to tracking and stuff, we ain't got what that blood brother of mine from the Blood Indian Reserve's got. He makes a 10 foot pass in there and goes, Hey guys, why'd you walk by him? Many chiefs to mine. Look at here. Big old pretty Alberta dog right there. This way you come to Alberta, right here. Big, wooly, pretty coyotes. This is number six in the truck, is it not? Six coyotes, we're only a day and a half into this. Six coyotes, day and a half in Southern Alberta. Strap on your seatbelt. The dance of love could come out again. You don't know, it could be good. Let's do this. Fox Pro Fur Tactics, presented by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. When to use a decoy. This is a topic we get asked about a lot too. You know, should I use a decoy in this stand when hunting in the thick areas? Should I use it when hunting the wide open areas? And in my opinion, you can't go wrong using a decoy in any one of your stands. You get a, an animal in distress out there, you're playing the animal in distress sounds, and you've got a, a visual decoy that a lot of times is the last thing that you need to seal the deal to successfully call in that coyote, that fox, whatever predator that you're calling. So in my opinion, if you're out hunting a stand, regardless of whether you're hunting in the thick stuff or you're hunting in the wide open, use that decoy and it will increase your success in calling in those coyotes and calling in them fox. We are in southern Alberta, Canada. We're hunting with Josh Many Chief on the Kainai Indian Reservation. This country is loaded. Oh, where is this off to the left? Oh, over rover. Over, over, under, under. The accuracy not make it through customs. He didn't check his accuracy in at the border. Probably out of range before you shoot. Yeah, yeah. I missed, yes. Can you believe that? Dang it, now I gotta put up with Al talking all day. So, you know, of course, immediately you start getting it from your buddies, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, whatever. I like to razz him a little, but I knew, I knew razzing was a bad thing. Because you know what? Karma will bite you on that back end every time. There he is right there on the edge. Oh, he's going to be right on this edge right here. I should have shot him when he was sitting there. Bad trend. What happened, big man? Hey, there's no aurora borealis in the middle of the day. I don't know what excuse you got. Everything about it's perfect. Except for the idiot pulling the trigger. It was greed. 
Always want them closer, right? No dance of love after the miss. Shut up and get in the truck. Let's go. <laughs> it's all fun till you get your feelings hurt. My feelings are hurt now. I yeah. could have been perfect in Canada. You could have been. Could have been. He was at 250 sitting down. Fades out. I missed. So what? Move on. Josh takes us up and drops us off on the top of this hill and tells us to drop off this ridge just a little ways. And uh, as we drop off, I mean, we're scooting and sliding. I'm walking over. I'm not even sat down yet, and I hear the call. Oh, crap. The thing's going on. I don't know whether my bog pod bumped it, my rifle. I don't know whether it was my fox bang. Coyote pup three. Da -da -da -da. Starts off. This coyote stops, turns and hauls the mail. Let him come. any better. Yeah. You just double right there, brother. Nice. Dude, that is as sweet a double as I've seen in a while. He doesn't dance. He has no dance love. I think we ought to work on that, but he got his double on video. Oh, yeah! It's my first trip to Alberta. Of course, I jumped at the chance. Today was impressive. Coyotes have been moving all day and uh, responding to the call well. It's just been amazing. Drive up there. Josh has been driving us around, dropping us off in just some of the most amazing places. We just take a short walk, set up, and it's game on. Right there, running. Tell me you got that. Oh, I got it. That is the redemption shot. That is nine coyotes for your viewing pleasure on fur takers. 307 yards. That's a pretty epic day. I don't care where you are coyote hunting in the world. Alberta fur, she was laying right here, right in this brush and we set up the call and she was leaving. There was a coyote bedded like 150 yards from us. It runs 150 yards, gets to 307. It's a beautiful thing. She's little. I should get extra bonus points for this one. I don't know if we got Happy Dance Al back, you know, because you know you got real happy Al when he's dancing, but he was, he was happy. It was good. The best coyote hunting on the planet. Fur takers here in southern Alberta. We did something in a day we've never done on any other show at any other time in the five seasons we've been filming. We killed nine coyotes today. 
One yesterday, I did simple math in Utah. That equals 10. We win, coyotes lose. This is epic. This is coyote hunting on steroids. Every predator hunter should, should do something like this at least once in their life. Fur takers here in Alberta, do this one time. Come get you some of this fur right here. It gets no finer. We can talk about it. I'm a man of action. Let's go. In case you're wondering, this show isn't over. This is day two of a four day hunt. This is halfway. Buckle up, hang on, fur takers in southern Alberta. Booyah, baby! Next week on Fox Pro Fur Takers, the boys look to finish this Alberta hunt strong. Doubles, quads, huh, even eight at a time.